Hello friends, so welcome back to slide hunt with the video tutorial on data structure. In our previous tutorial, we learned how to traverse the binary tree in pre-order, in-order and post-order. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to write the code for in-order, pre-order and post-order traversal. To perform pre-order, in-order and post-order traversal, first we need to create a tree and then we perform different traversal algorithm on it. So let's get started. First we define a node. We know a node contains three fields, one data field and two link fields. The elements of the node is of different data types. So we use a structure. Struct VST. Inside this structure, I'm gonna declare int data. Data can be of any type, but here we consider data as integer type. Now I'm gonna declare two pointers of structure VST. One to hold the address of left child and another to hold the address of right child. Struct VST star left and struct VST star right. Next, I'm gonna use here type def. Type def struct vst node. Node is the new name of struct vst. So now we use the keyword node in the program instead of struct vst. Okay, now we write the main function. In binary search tree, to access or visit any node, we need to know the address of the root node. So I'm gonna declare here a pointer that will hold the address of the root node. Node star root. And I'm gonna initially assign root equal to null. Next I'm gonna declare here some variables that we will use in our program. Int n and choice and then char ch. Next I'm gonna write here printf press 1 for insert then printf press 2 for pre-order traversal similarly press 3 for in-order traversal so I'm gonna copy it and paste here I'm gonna write here 3 and here in-order traversal and then press 4 for post order traversal. I'm gonna write here 4 and here post order. Then again I'm gonna write here print a. Please enter your choice. To read the choice that the user enter, we use a scanf function. scanf person d and um person choice. Here many options are available and you have to choose one of them. For that reason, we use a switch statement. Switch choice, case 1. Here we call the insert function. First, I'm gonna ask user to enter a number. Printf, enter a number to be insert. Then scanf, person d and person n. Then we call the insert function, root equal to insert. And here we pass the address of the root node and the element that we want to insert. So I'm gonna write here root comma n and then break. Case 1 is completed. In case 2 we call the pre-order function. Printf pre-order traversal. Now here we call the pre-order function. Pre-order and here we pass the address of the root node as argument. So I'm gonna write here root. Then add here a new line, print a backslash n and then break. In case 3, we call the in order function. So I'm gonna copy it and paste here. I'm gonna write here case 3. Here I'm gonna write in order. And here we call the in order function. In case 4, we call the post order function. I'm gonna write a case 4. 
here I'm gonna write post order and here we call the post order function finally we add here a default case default printf wrong input switch case is completed the next thing is here we use a do while loop so that we can execute these statements again and again so I'm gonna write here a do starting braces and here closing braces then we write here the while condition but before writing this condition I'm gonna ask user do you want to continue printf do you want to continue yes or no then ch equal to get ch e get ch e function reads the user choice and store to the variable ch next I'm gonna write the termination condition while ch equal to equal to y or ch not equal to n it means if you press any character other than n this loop will execute again okay inside the switch statement we call for function now we define these functions one by one first I'm gonna define the insert function this function will insert the node to the tree in our previous few tutorials we discussed this function in detail so here I'm not gonna discuss it again here we just copy this function from my previous tutorial and paste here here is the insert function I'm gonna copy it and paste to my current program I'm gonna paste it outside of the main function inside this insert function we call another function named create node before insert a node we need to create that node for that reason we call this function I'm gonna copy this function from my previous tutorial here is the create node function I'm gonna copy it and paste here if you don't understand this function please watch my previous video on binary search in the description section I put the link of that video okay T is created now we define the in order pre order and post order function first I'm gonna define the pre order function this function is not gonna return any value so its return type will be void void pre order here you can see pre order function pass the address of the root node to store the address we need a pointer to node so I'm gonna write here node star root inside this function first we check the root node if it is null we return from this function otherwise we print the root node print f person d and here we refer root data root arrow data if you can remember in pre order first we process the root then we traverse the left subtree in pre order so here we call the pre order function for left subtree pre order root left this is a recursive call of pre order function then we traverse the right subtree in pre order so here we call the pre order function again for the right subtree pre order root right pre order function is completed next we write the in order function void in order not star root same as the pre order function here we check the root node if it is null we return from this function so I'm gonna copy it and paste here otherwise we traverse the left sub t in in order so I'm gonna call here the in order function for the left subtree in order root left next we process the root so I'm gonna print here the root node printf 
percent D and here we refer root data and then we traverse the right sub T in in order in order root right similarly we write the post order function void post order in post order function first we traverse the left sub T in post order post order root left then we traverse the right sub T in post order root right and then we process the root print f percent d and here we refer root data all the functions are defined okay. add here a new line let's run the program compile and run as you can see here it asks you please enter your choice here we design a binary such t with integer values and these are the pre-order, in-order and post-order sequence after traversing this binary search tree. Let's check it. Here we input these values. So I'm gonna press here 1. Enter a number to be insert. I'm gonna enter 10. Do you want to continue? Yes. It asks you, please enter your choice. If you want to insert another number, then press 1. Enter a number. I'm going to enter 8. Do you want to continue? Yes. Please enter your choice. Again, I'm going to enter 1. Enter a number to be insert. I'm going to enter 15. Yes. 1. Enter a number. I'm going to enter 7. Yes. 1. I'm going to enter 9, I'm going to enter 16. Do you want to continue? Yes. Now if you traverse the tree in pre-order, then press 2. So I'm going to enter here 2. And this is the pre-order traversal. And the sequence is 10, 8, 7, 9, 15. And then 16. Do you want to continue? Yes. Now I'm going to press 3. And it shows you the in order traversal. And the sequence is 7, 8, 9, 10, 15 and 16. Now I'm going to press 4. And it shows you the post order traversal. And the sequence is 7, 9, 8, 16, 15 and 10. Do you want to continue? I'm going to press N. This is it. Hope you understand. Let's see what we do here. First we define a node. Then we use here type def to give the new name of the keyword struct vst. Next we write a function that create a node. Then we write the insert function. This function will insert the node to the tree. Then we define the preorder function then in order function and then post order function and finally we write the main function this is it hope you understand if you like this video please share it and click on the like button on youtube i'll be back with another tutorial till then you take care and keep watching